Hey there friends, Jason Moffat here, and today I want to show you something really cool about how to watch videos that don't have players. You'll notice a lot of people nowadays uh, use videos in which there's no control, no fast forward or rewind type buttons, and you're forced to sit through 10, 15, 30 minutes, an hour maybe, so you get to the end and actually see what the pitch is or what is actually being hyped up the whole time. If you're like me, you have a hard time sitting through all the videos and you want to fast forward ahead. Now, uh, a lot of these marketers do it for a reason. It tends to convert really well, but I'm impatient and I want to show you how to avoid it. So I'm just going to click on a video here or a website, uh, free mass traffic here at ClickBank. Um, you know, these people actually keep on split testing this page. Watch this. Hi, my name is Chris three, Allen two, and I'd like three four five here is some shocking six, proof and results from what this software seven, was able to eight nine ten eleven holy shit eleven fucking exit pops but that last one actually went to the uh clickbank um order page it looked like or management screenshot um Forgive me here. I, I, I didn't know this shit was going to happen. I just picked any of these sites. Oh, dude, we're going to go through Hi. one. Hi, my name is Chris Twice. Allen, and I'd like to... Three times, four times. I want to see that clickbank thing. Five times. Here is some shocking proof times, and results from what this... Seven times. Holy shit. Eight times. Nine exit pops. Ten... Clickbank order page. Is that true? Let's see if we can just cancel right here. Wow, I'm actually 11 exit pops and they force you to the page. So that's, dang, that's that's insane. <laughs> I didn't mean to show you that, but I don't know if I would advise you to use Hi. 11 exit pops. Hi, my name. Here's what I wanted to show you. I wasn't expecting to get 8 billion exit pops like that. Let's say you want to watch this video, but it's too long. So what you need to do is just go up into View Page Source. It'll pull up the HTML code. Hit a, um, I hit a Command F on Apple, I think on PC. It's Control F for Find. And then just type in FLV. Most of these files are usually FLV files. And you'll notice this .FLV right here. I want to copy that all the way to the HTTP and then copy that. And then just go up there and enter that into the browser. And what that will do, sorry, it won't do anything on this guy's page because he has 900 exit pops. Go over here to the browser window and you just type it in there and I can save that file now to my desktop. And then what you'll need next is a program called Wimpy Player, FLV Player. I already have it. I'll put up a link where you can get it. Wimpy. Here we go. So there's the Wimpy player. I'm going to bring up my downloads. Here is that file, main FLV, that I, we just downloaded from the source code. And you just drag it right into the Wimpy player. Hi, my name is Chris Allen. Boom. And I'd like to ask you a... You got Mr. Chris Allen's video here where you can fast forward all the way through at your leisure and watch it. So that was the tip. I didn't mean to get sidetracked by those 10 or 11 exit pops, but wow, uh, what a lesson that was.